Hello. This is a video on how to play Palace. Now, Palace is a game. Um, it's a card game. And so it's actually quite a popular game. Um, and you might also hear it being referred to as Castle. And so you might hear it called Palace or Castle. Um, so before we start playing, let's just give a quick rundown of the game. So you need a standard deck of 52 cards. Um, and it is a multiplayer game. So you need two to five players uh, to play the game. And so the way the cards are ranked in terms of their value is from ace being the highest to three being the lowest. So the lowest, I'll count them out. It's three, four, from lowest to highest, it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, jack, queen, king, and ace. So in some games, ace is one. In this game, ace is the highest. Now you might be saying, hey, what happened to the two and the ten? I didn't hear the two and the ten in the countdown. Now, two and ten are special cards, and they do what's called resetting the discard pile. Um, a two resets the discard pile, while a ten clears the discard pile. In both scenarios, a 2 and a 10 allow you to place any card on top of them. And so right now, this all sounds a little weird, but you'll get you'll see what we're talking about when we, when we start playing. So the main objective of the game is to get rid of all your cards as quick as you can. Cards are discarded. That's why I was saying discard earlier. Are discarded uh, in the pile in the middle of the game. And any card uh, or set of cards of equal or higher rank, then the card in the middle can be played. So we place, you get rid of your cards by placing the cards in the middle. You place a card in the middle. So let's say I place a two, uh, place a five in the middle. I either have to place a f uh, card that's five equal to five so I can place a five or a card that's greater now you just saw the cards being dealt there you deal three cards face down and then three cards face up on top of the cards that are face down and then each player themselves is just given three more cards so Bill has one, two, three cards. I have one, two, three cards here. Bill has three cards face down under these cards, and then he has three cards face up uh, under these cards. Now, before you actually start the game, you can swap any of the cards from your three cards here with the, your face up cards. Now, most individuals like to swap their highest cards with the face of cards. The reason being, the face of cards are played last. And so you typically want to have higher value cards. The reason being, you can only put, uh, play a card in the middle that is of equal or higher value. So if you're getting to the end of the game, if you have low cards, chances are the pile in the middle is going to have a higher value and if you can't play a card you have to pick up the pile in the middle getting more cards again so what we're going to do is we're going to switch the nine here with the king and we are ready to start and you might say hey you said switch the highest value well two and ten are special cards in that they can be played at any time so we want to keep two and ten uh till the end of the game so now that we uh figured out some of the basic rules and that was a lot to digest what is the gameplay the gameplay is place a card in the middle if you have a card with a number of equal or higher value 
you can place it in the middle. If you cannot place a card in the middle, you have to pick up all the cards in the middle. And remember, the objective of the game is to get rid of all your cards, so you don't want to pick up the cards in the middle. So, uh, when you first start the game, I, and there are some other extra rules, but we won't get into them yet. Uh, let's just play a game. When you first start the game, you have to keep drawing cards and maintaining three cards in your pile. So let's say I play, put down an eight. I have to draw a card from the middle pile and bring it to my pile. This drawing continues until there are no cards left in the middle. Every player must have a minimum of three cards in their uh, face up pile right here. Um, until there are no cards left in the middle. So if I play a card, I have to draw a card. Now, notice how I said minimum of three cards. If a player picks up a car, uh, the pile in the middle, and let's say a player has 10 cards, he does not have to draw any cards from the middle. The player can simply relax and just play cards trying to get back down, trying to decrease the number of cards they have. So if I have 10 cards, I place a card. I don't have to draw a card in the middle because I still have more than three cards. If I have three cards and I place a card, I only have two cards left. So I must draw a card from the middle in order to replenish my deck. So now, those are the basic rules, let's play. So he played a four. Now I could play a card higher. I'm gonna to choose to play my lowest card higher and I wanna save my highest card as much as I can, simply because the higher your card is, the greater the chances that you can actually place uh, place it down later in the game when the pile is increasing. Because remember, the pile in the middle is only going to keep increasing in value. So, it's beneficial to try to keep your highest value cards for as long as possible. Now, just some additional rules. If you have four of the same card, so, um... Let's say I have, let's say there's a four right here in the middle. If I had three fours right here, I could play all three fours there to complete the four of a kind. Or if I pick up a card from the pile and it's a four, I could also place it down instantly. So those are the uh, rules really. So we're gonna play an eight. We drew a three, notice there. Now he played an eight. We cannot play a three. We have to play a card of equal value or higher. So I'm gonna play a nine. I have to draw a card. Now I have an ace. That's good. I want to save my ace for as long as I can. A nine is of equal value, so I can play it. A two. I can place anything on a two. Remember, a two is a wild card. It essentially resets the discard pile in the middle. So we play a three. Now he played a seven. We have to play, we cannot play these cards here. We have to finish our hand before you can play your face of cards, like I stated before. So we are going to play um, our lowest value card that we can play is a queen. So let's play a queen. Now he played an ace. The only the ace is the highest value in the game. So the only thing of equal value is an ace itself. Now Bill played a two, resetting the pile. I'm going to play my lowest value card. You notice how Bill played two sixes. You can put down multiple cards if they're the same rank. Now I'm going to put down a 7. I have to be higher so I'm going to put down an 8. And you just keep placing cards and drawing. I cannot place a card here. What does this mean? I have to pick up all of these cards. But notice, like I said, about the rule. Let's just say, make sure this is in frame, it is. Notice what I said about the rule. You have to have a minimum of three cards. So notice when I play a card on this, I'm not gonna have to draw another card. See, I didn't draw another card there. Bill still had to draw, draw a card because he has to play a minimum of three. Now I'm gonna play my equal, pl try to play the lowest value card that you can. So five, let's try to see if we have a five here. We don't, so we'll play a six. Oh, we cannot play a six on top of a five. Now, now, there are some variations, and so what I think happened here is um, in this version of the game, even though this isn't very common, 
um, he played um, a card such that it reverses the way you have to play. So in some versions of Palace, if you play an 8, it's also a special card and it reverses the way you play. When you play an 8, you have to play cards that are lower, of equal value or lower. And so I'm assuming that if we play a 4, it will work. And so that's what happened. The game forces you to play cards of equal value or lower. Now that's only when you play an 8. And notice, did you guys catch that maneuver there? Bill put down a 10 and he drew a 10 so you could place it again. If you draw a card of equal value, you can, so if there's a jack here, if I draw a jack, I can instantly place it down. I do not have to wait my turn. So now the card's back to normal. The order's back to normal. So we do have an ace, so we'll play it. And so Bill played, okay, so in, in this version, five is the special card and five is reversing the order. So Bill played a five. That means it has once again reversed the order of the deck. So we must play a card that's lower. Now, we're going to go with a seven here. Bill plays, see, when you place cards of the same rank, you can uh, place multiple at the same time. And notice that there are no cards in the middle. What does this mean? This means Bill, notice how I said the rule about having a minimum of three cards. That is only when there are cards in the middle. Notice, Bill does not have to draw cards now. So if we place cards in the middle, that is a queen, Bill has two cards. He does not have to draw cards. King. So I do have to play a card that's of lower value, fortunately. Now Bill has to play the face of cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do an interesting strategy. He has his face of cards. His highest value is a king. My highest value is an ace. An ace is higher than a king. He can only play with the face of cards right here. So if I put down an ace, he will be forced to pick up all these cards because he does not have a card of higher value. Now in this version, obviously the five is a wild card, so you can put down a five. So I mean, I mean that that does kind of suck, but um, it's just how it is. So we'll put down the ace there. Now we get to pick up all the cards, and now it's our turn. We get to dictate the flow of the game. Nine. This is nine. Now Bill placed a jack. What does this mean? Cannot play. Oh, I played a two, which is a wild card. So that was smart by me. And notice how Bill's quickly playing multiple cards. When you have multiple cards of the same number, you can quickly play them. So even if you pick up the cards in the middle of the pile, you can discard them quite quick. I'm going to place a seven there. I'm going to place a seven there. Place a queen. He placed a queen. So we cannot. We have to pick them up here. So now Bill's getting. Uh, let's just. Can't play a three on top of a four. We need a card of higher value. Let's play all these sevens. There we go. Now he placed a king. What does this mean? I don't have something that can actually beat the king. And so Bill is playing smart here. So he placed a six. Do I have anything that can beat a six? Well, I have what, two sevens here. I'm going to play them. And he placed an ace. He placed four aces in a row. And that's called four of a kind. Um, that's quite rare. So it's quite interesting. But we are catching up here. We are making progress towards uh, being able to put down a card. We can't play seven on top of five. We have to play a lower value card here. We'll play our four. And he played another five. In this version of the game, I don't really know why the fives are like this. Uh, it's Those are some very rare versions. In most versions, though, the only special cards are the two and the ten. And so I can't play any card here. So I have to pick up all these cards again. Now Bill played his... And Bill had to pick up those cards. So what are we going to do? We're going to try to get rid of as many cards as we can.
We have three threes. We'll get rid of all three of them. Once again, you want to try to get rid of your lowest value card first. Let me put down the kings. I don't have anything. I do have something that can beat the kings. I have a five. He put down a ten. He put down a seven. And Bill won the game. And so you see how you essentially play the game. In actual versions, disregard the five. That's for more experienced players. But you have three cards. You have to keep placing cards in the middle and drawing new cards until the pile in the middle runs out. You have to place a card that is of equal value or higher. Two and ten are your special cards. Once you finish drawing all the cards in the middle, you do not have to draw any more cards. You only have to draw cards if you get below the minimum of three cards. If you have, let's say I had like ten cards, I, I, would, I didn't have to draw any cards simply because I'm above the limit of three cards. Once you finish draw, uh, all your cards in your hand, you start playing your face-up cards. Then you start playing your face-down cards. Now, here, what I didn't touch on about the face-down cards is that they are face-down for a reason. You cannot see the face. And this is the random luck of Palace. Since it, since it is face-down, you can pick up a card that is of lower value. And if you place it, you don't know because you're, it's face-down. So you don't know until you pick it up. And if you pick up a card that is of lower value of your three cards that you have face down, you have to play it on the pile and pick up the pile. So that's the sort of luck with Palace. It's mostly a skill-based game, but it does have some luck to it. But those three face down cards can really turn the tide of the match. Let's say we have 20 cards in the pile here, and Bill picked up a face down card of lower value. Let's say he picked up a face down pick, picked up a face up face down card of three. Then he'd place it in the middle. And you have to pick up all the cards in the middle. So that's the kind of luck factor with the game. But essentially, it's not too hard of a game to grasp. I hope by watching you could sort of understand. I know the fives were confusing. Uh, but there's nothing we can really do. Just certain versions are different. Um, but just disregard the fives. Play with uh, two and ten as your special cards. Um, and that was it. I hope you learned how to play a new card game. Thank you.